On January 1st of 2020, California's historic Child Victims Act went into effect, opening a three-year window for survivors of child sexual abuse in California to take legal action against their perpetrator and the institutions that protected their perpetrator, no matter how long ago the abuse occurred. This window closes on December 31st of 2022. Father Robert Ponzioli was accused of child sexual abuse in 2002 when a man reported to the police that he was sexually abused by Father Ponzioli at the cathedral in approximately 1973 to 1974. In 1975, the parents of two boys at St. Cornelius reported to the bishop that Father Ponzioli had sexually abused their two sons. Other reports suggested to authorities that Father Ponzioli was too free with the boys, especially altar boys. In 2002, Father Ponzaroli was named in a civil lawsuit alleging he sexually abused a boy in approximately 1980 while at St. Ignatius. Father Ponzaroli was removed from ministry in 1995 after being named in a lawsuit alleging he sexually abused someone in the 1970s. Records in Father Ponzaroli's priest file show that his superiors knew of sexual misconduct allegations as early as 1975. In 2003, Father Ponzaroli was arrested and charged with molesting two altar boys in the 1980s. However, the charges were dropped in 2003, after a California Supreme Court ruling. There are at least seven known child sex abuse victims of Father Ponzaroli. It is believed Father Ponzaroli died in approximately 2009. He was last known to be living in Florida. From 1999 until his alleged death in 2009, Father Ponzaroli's status as a priest and whether he had access to children are unknown. If you or anyone you know has been sexually abused by a clergy member in the state of California at any time, contact us confidentially today. You are not alone.